All right. Um, as promised, it's a tent, and this is a piece of equipment I've been dying to get my hands on for a while, ever since I saw it on Shark Tank. It's a Gold Rush Nugget Bucket. Now, I think I'd seen it before Shark Tank. I'm not sure, because um, I'm always searching Google for gold stuff. But either way, I saw it on Shark Tank. I was really surprised they got a deal. Um, I thought it was a great idea. I just didn't know if it'd be something the Shark Tank people would get into, but it, it got a deal. Um, one of my things was, you know, you just don't know. They didn't, when they shoot Shark Tank, you're in there for a long period of time, and they edit it down to, you know, 10 minutes. So they didn't really give a ton of details about it. So, you know, didn't tell you how it worked and all this and that. So, but I just wanted one. And the other day they had uh, Beyond the Shark Tank and he was back on there showing them, making them and stuff like that. And it just made me get one, you know. I said, well, you know, so we'll open it up. I've already opened it up so it might not be perfect, but you know, I will say one thing. This thing is a lot more rugged and sturdy than it looks like on the website or in the videos. You know, generally plastic doesn't do well in videos or things like that. So, but you know, you can see the lid is really thick. You can obviously sit on this and use it as a chair um, when you're not actually using it. So it, it is a very sturdy thing. I was really surprised at how well everything fit together. Uh, you know, it's not all cheaply made um, for the price, you know. You get the shovel, the folding shovel. It's a good quality one. My son's already, you don't know if you can see how dirty it is. My son's already taken it out and dug up half my yard. So it's a good quality shovel. You have your screen. Now they do give you a pan. You know, this is everything you essentially would need to go out in the field, I guess, you know, or for a home. So you wouldn't have to buy anything else. If you bought this, you wouldn't need to buy anything else. If you're just a home recreation person, you know, if you just want to take your kids out to a river to go gold panning, this would work. I mean, I haven't actually run any dirt through it to see how that part works, but you know, considering what's in the kit, everything you'd have, you know, you got your dual screens. It does come with a snuffer bottle, a magnet, you know, tweezers, and a little vial ball, a little plastic vial, and another small scoop. Um, now, I'll show you how it's put together. It's essentially you have bucket itself you do get a water bucket or dirt bucket whatever you want to use it for um, but you have the nugget bucket itself and then you have the little tray that holds like what's gonna be your final product your panning and this slops right on top um, this it's got a handle in here I don't know if this is gonna get in the way or how it's gonna work but obviously it's not removable it does make it easier to pull this out you know because like I said it is a snug fit once you get this thing in here, it fits really tight and well, you know, which is good. That's what you want. Um, right now I have it set up on top of some things because I want to save this dirt. Um, because like I said, you know, I'm going to be running the dirt hogs, uh, I mean gold hogs, uh, raw pay dirt through it. And if you watch my video on the 5th, you'll see I, I recovered 0.44 grams of gold out of it. Um, so I put the gold right back into the dirt. I left the dirt as it was nuggets rocks everything everything that was in it is back to normal the way i got it um and i'll be running it through this to see how it does so you know there's i'm gonna edit cutting this in a minute you know so this goes back on top and then this goes on top so you know essentially it'll run through the first screen it'll run through the second screen and then it'll run through the little funnel into the little bowl you know we'll do this so we get a better picture when it comes in so it doesn't block the hole so um, I'm gonna sh try to shoot this whole thing I'm gonna have my kids run all the pay dirt and I'm gonna run it through time lapse to see how it goes I won't be using their pan um, it, it's you know probably not the best pan in the world you know it's only got you know one type of riffle on it but you know it comes with the kit, you know, and it, one of the things I will say is this is something for a family. And I'm really all about that. You know, I love taking my kids out and make, have, <laughs> forcing them to gold pan with me. And, you know, I think it's something that 
all families should get into. You know, it's not something for just the dad to be sitting in his garage doing while the kids are inside playing video games. It's something that should be a family thing to do, going out to rivers and things like that. And this would really facilitate that. You know, it's one thing to tell a kid to learn how to pan. You know, my five-year-old, he loves to pan, but he cannot do it. You know, he's just not, doesn't have the motor skills to really do it right now. I mean, he tries his heart out, but you know, something like this, they would love to just funnel stuff in here and pour water in. So, you know, we're gonna see. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do a series of videos where it's gonna be the Nugget Bucket versus. And this week, I'm gonna be doing Nugget Bucket versus uh, Raw Pay Dirt from Gold Hog. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, so. I'm going to just set this all up. I'm going to go get my kids and I'm going to get the dirt and some water. And again, I put it up on something because I want to recover anything. If it doesn't catch the gold, I want to make sure I don't lose the dirt so I can reuse the dirt again. Uh, uh, what I might do is after I shoot the video of the kids using it the first time and once I recover the gold out of this little thing here, the little trap, uh, if anything's missing, I'll pan it out. Probably run it a second time through here you know it wouldn't be great in the field to try and run things twice but you know for a home person it might be worth it but you know we'll see you know they tell you you know in Alaska most of the land that's being worked now even on the shows the gold rush show has all been mined before but when the old timers mined it they were only recovering 50% of the gold and they say even now when you see these guys out there with their giant red behemoth sluices they're only recovering 50 percent of what's left it's one of those things you know you, as technology gets better you you trap more and more gold you know you know that's like if you look at uh, i think park schnabel on his land that he got it had already been mined and, and they went bankrupt because they couldn't get a catch enough gold and parker went in there and he got enough gold to obviously make money um so you know this thing i if it captures everything that i got panning you know taking you know a full day to pan i'd be really surprised but if it catches the majority of it, that's what you want. You know, if you're on a river, you're not trying to get every little speck. I mean, you want to, but it, you know, it's just not humanly possible, or mechanically possible, should I say. So, you know, we're gonna run this through its trials, you know. So far, I will say, I, I'm really impressed with it. I'm really, really impressed with how well it was made, um, considering on its, the site, it doesn't look that way because it is plastic. You know, and plastic and anything does not look well made, but this thing is sturdy. It's heavy. Um, I didn't weigh it. I probably will when I put it on my blog, you know, in the description of how much it weighed out to when it was thing, but it's, you know, it's a, probably a good four to five pounds, you know, of solid. You know, and one thing I like is everything really fits in tight. You know, so you're not going to have water pouring in the sides and pouring, you know, around the edges. It will all be trapped inside the nugget funnel. So we're going to find out and we're going to run it. It's going to be the nugget bucket versus gold hogs raw pay dirt. Um, I'll sh everything will be shot. I'm going to shoot it in time lapse so you can see and you won't have to hear me and the kids complaining and stuff like that and bickering. So I'll be back. All right, I'm back with my concentrates for my nugget bucket, and this is what I was left with. I don't tilt it too much, but that's what I came out with. Um, so I'm hoping there should be 0.44 gold in here, uh, grams of gold. That's what I got out of this before I dumped it all back into the bucket. Um, you know. Uh, let me say, uh, you, you can watch the video, but you know, I put it in time lapse because I didn't want everyone to watch an hour of me arguing with my kids to put more water in, take more, put less water in, do this and that and that. 
I was really impressed with how well it worked. Um, like I said, it, it's a very well made thing. The nugget bucket is very well made. Um, so I'm gonna pause this now and I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna pan this out and get it down to the last little bit. Come back, show you what I'm getting to, and then we'll talk more about the nugget bucket. All right, be back in a little bit. All right, I cleaned it all up. Um, and I'm going to actually do something a little bit different after this. I'm going to inside finish cleaning this up in a second after I pause this. Um, weigh it up and then give a final review and show you live the not live, but you know, show you the final way up. So you can see how much it is. Uh, sorry if this is a bad angle. I'm just trying to get a big chunk of this to show up. But it seemed to have gotten a lot of gold. Um, it looks to be about probably real close to the same amount that I got in the last way in. So you know, it's not a ton of gold again. Oh, but when I weighed this up the first time, when I just panned this stuff, this was raw pay dirt from a gold hog came up to 0.44 grams. So that's looking about the same amount. I mean, I recognize some of the flat little ones that had some weird shapes to them. So, but I'm gonna go inside and weigh it up. Um, but I wanted to mention a couple things about the nugget bucket. Uh, one flaw I found in it was, I don't, at the beginning I showed you that two trays, one sits on top of the other like this. They both have the exact same size hole. Um, these are a little closer together, but you know, it's essentially the same size hole. So what happened was it didn't really catch any of the fine rocks. And after I panned it out, this is what I got in rocks. And there were still some more. I just grabbed a couple handfuls of that dirt that was in there and threw it in my 100 mesh. And this is all that came up. So, you know, you could probably not even use this one and you get the exact same results. Uh, maybe this slows down the water a little bit or something. Um, I've got some ideas on how to maybe uh, improve it a little, but it does make the panning a lot harder when you have all these rocks in there. You know, it just, they jam up your little ripples, they make it a pain. So, um, you know, it is a little tougher to do this. I'm guessing if you're in a stream or something like that, that's not a big worry. Um, but like I said, it, it did its job, it caught gold, and you know, I'm gonna be honest, when I first saw this, I was skeptical. <laughs> you know, it's a bucket with a funnel in it. But, you know, it works. So we're gonna find out exactly how well it works in a few minutes. If you come back, or uh, you just stay tuned in about 30 seconds, this will pause. And then, let me put some more, go get her juice in here. It'll pause. And then I'll be back and I'll have the bucket in front of me and weigh in. So, I'm going to pause y'all yet again. So, back, I'm um, getting ready to weigh up the gold that I recovered from the Gold Rush Nugget Bucket. Um, and I, I really can't tell you how, how impressed I was with this thing. Um, I haven't even weighed up the gold yet. Um, obviously, in the previous video, you can see I recovered some, so it wasn't, you know, I didn't recover anything. But it's really easy to use. Um, it obviously did trap the gold. And you know, when you first, when I first saw this thing, I was very skeptical. Um, you know, I just thought it was somebody trying to make some money off the show, maybe. You know, but you know, and even when you see pictures of it, it looks not well made. And then when you get it in hand, I mean, I'm so impressed by how well made this thing is. I mean, I can't tell you enough about that. Um, so, but I'm going to weigh this up right now. And we're going to see exactly how much. Sorry for the shaky cam. I didn't feel like setting everything up. So, um, I'm just going to set this up real quick. Um, weigh us up some gold.
Let's see what we got. Uh, you gotta give me one second. So, point three seven. Point three nine. That's where it's going to end. So, oh, point four one is still going. The so point four two is where it ended. Oh. So, I'll, I'm going to reweigh it in a second just to make sure because I'm outside. So, but as you can see, there is gold. The nugget bucket worked. Uh, Go on my, on my blog, I'll tell you the exact weight. I'm going to weigh this up again because it fluctuated a little bit right at the end. But when I panned everything out, I got 0.44. And if this thing got, I'm going to guess it's going to weigh out at 0.4. Um, there was just some movement of the paper from the wind. And if that's so, that 0 .4, 0 0.04 grams missing is remarkable. Um, like I said, when I, a little bit earlier, I said, you know, I did... Um, I have an issue with the two screens. They're both the exact same size. They're in my shed. I didn't put them in the bucket. Um, and I might fix something about that. I might change things up. But, you know, again, this is me using them in my shed, uh, panning gold. You know, it's not out on the river or something like that where, you know, you don't mind getting those little bitty fine rocks. I prefer not to get them, but we'll see how things go. But, I think, like I said before, I think I'm going to start doing a monthly uh, gold rush bucket, nugget bucket challenge. I uh, will see how things go. Um, but so far, I'm really impressed. Uh, you know, 10 out of 10 stars for the gold rush nugget bucket. Maybe 9 stars. I mean, I'm going to see. I, I'm going to email them and ask them a couple questions. Email the owner. See what they get back to me about. But until then, I'll put any updates I have on this, up, on this uh, review when it goes live. All right, thanks.